we have an interest in the good opinion of others. Firstly, because it is useful to us. Then, because we want to give them pleasure. Children, their parents, pupils, their teacher, and benevolent people, all other people in general. Only where the good opinion of others is important to someone quite apart from advantage or the desire to give pleasure, do we speak of vanity. In this case, a person wants to give pleasure to himself but at the expense of his fellow men, inasmuch as he either seduces them to a false opinion regarding himself or even aims at a degree of good opinion that is bound to be painful to others through the arousal of envy. As a rule, the individual wants through the opinion of others to confirm the opinion he has of himself and to ratify himself in his own eyes. But our mighty habituation to authority, a habituation that is as old as mankind itself, also impels many to rely on authority for their belief in themselves, that is to say to acquire it only at the hands of others. They trust the judgment of others more than they do their own. Interest in oneself, the desire to feel pleasure, attains in the vain person to such an intensity that he seduces others to a false, much too high assessment of himself, yet then submits to the authority of these others. That is to say, he induces error and then believes in this error. One is therefore bound to see that vain people desire to please not so much other people as themselves, and they go so far as to neglect their own advantage in doing so, for they are then obliged to arouse in their fellow men ill will, hostility, and envy, simply so as to be able to take pleasure in themselves.